Okay, so point set topology has been something I've been interested in for a very long time, although most of my exposure to it so far has been through book reading. And so I'm quite excited that at this point I feel like I can really make a, a, an original theorem, or at least an original conjecture, which at least personally I feel has some originality and uh, interest. And basically it consists of um, what I hope is a specific example of something I might call a topological multiverse, a kind of topological space within which every element of the space represents another topological space and somehow the kind of um, closeness structure, neighbourhood structure of the first topological space uh, indicates how similar the elements um, which represent the second uh, the elements of the second topological space are. So in other words if a couple of elements are close to each other in, in the first topological space then the topological spaces represented by those elements should be pretty similar to each other in some, uh, in some structural sense in, in the second case. So here's the setup. Basically, um, we have a Frechette V space. So what that basically is, is a set K and every element X of K is associated with a set, or let's say a collection, Zeta X of subsets of K. So what is Zeta X? Zeta X is a collection of neighborhoods of K. What are the elements of Zeta X? They are neighborhoods of K. They are simply subsets, so they, sorry, they are neighborhoods of the element X of K. They are simply subsets of K. That's the definition of a fresh eight, of a fresh eight space. Now, what we want to do is to consider the collection, let's call it M of K, of all Frechette spaces that have K as their sort of set of elements, their sort of universe, their sort of collection of elements that they consider. Um, so we consider the set of all Frechette spaces based on the set K. Now um, we're going to try and make a metric space out of this. Um, and to do this, um, basically what we do, we have these elements, these elements of Frechette spaces uh, on, on set K, and um, to make this kind of thing into a metric space, we want to introduce a metric, a sort of something like a distance measure between two different Frechette spaces. So let's say we have two Frechette spaces, S1, which has, um, is based on set K, and it has neighborhood collections um, zeta x1. So zeta x1 is the cl collection of neighborhoods associated with point x um, in the Frechette space number one. Similarly, um, the other Frechette space is called S2. And um, again, it's based on the set K. And for any particular x in K, the collection of neighbourhoods of x is denoted zeta x2. So then we want to define a sort of metric, a sort of distance measure or something, between um, these two different um, these two, two different spaces, s1 and s2. And in order to do this, I would I would um, propose. I mean, there's lots of ways to do this, and I'm just going to propose one. There's probably lots of other more interesting ways to define metrics on these kind of scenarios, but hey, I, I'm trying to get some kind of early theorem, you know, my first point set topology theorem or something. So I just try something specific for a start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a function. I'm going to call it gamma of A and X. Now, sorry, gamma of A and capital X. Now, A is just an element of K, and X is a subset of K. And this uh, function, gamma of A and capital X, has the following properties. 
it is 1 if x is ni sorry it is 0 if x is neither a neighborhood of a in the Frechette space S1 nor is it a neighborhood of a in the Frechette space S2 so in other words gamma a of x is equal to 0 when x is not a neighborhood of a in either of the Frechette spaces similarly gamma a of x is equal to 0 when x is a neighborhood of A in the Frechette space S1 and in the Frechette space S2 and otherwise gamma A of X is equal to 1. You see the way this works is that gamma of A of X is essentially a measure of the disparity between the way that A relates to X in the two different Frechette spaces. So in these cases where X is either a neighborhood in both spaces or in neither spaces then gamma outputs a value of zero because there's no dissimilarity in that case whereas in the alternative case where x is a neighborhood of a in one of the Frechette spaces but not a neighborhood of a in the other Frechette space in that case gamma a of x is equal to one indicating that there is some disparity so in some sense this gamma thing is acting something a little bit like the, the components of a Hamming distance. Anyway, we can use gamma to create what I propose is this metric. And basically, the de definition of this metric is that the, the um, let's say, the distance or the metric function, uh, d of s1, s2, the distance between s1 and s2, is equal to the sum over all subsets of k um, of the sum overall elements a of k of gamma a x and I believe that this is zero when the two Frechette spaces are uh, the same and I believe that it also satisfies all the other necessary criteria to be a metric and therefore d is a metric on the set of all Frechette v spaces uh, which use set k now, this is a conjecture uh, I haven't checked that you know this function here for example satisfies the triangle inequality but it's a very interesting notion if it is working because we have an interesting scenario here you see the elements um, in this metric space which is um, let's, let's look at this metric space okay as a set m of k and it has this metric so essentially it is a topological space and its elements are topological spaces and moreover these type of metric topological spaces are types of Frechette v-spaces so essentially what we have is a Frechette v-space of Frechette v-spaces in some sense and so in a some sense for some sort of multiverse thing going on or perhaps even some sort of fractal thing going on where we might be able to go into or at least this is maybe this isn't true in this example but it, it should be possible to create scenarios like this where we could have sort of topological spaces of topological spaces or we can go into particular spaces and find further copies of other things so we essentially create sort of fractal multiverses of uh, nested topological spaces um, so you know there seems to be quite a lot of um, room for exploration in these kind of things um, still at their early stages and these conjectures ought to be sort of um, investigated and things like that